Have you ever wondered what would happen if Apple took a bold step with the iPhone SE 4 by sticking to a single rear camera while most of its competitors are jumping on the multi-camera bandwagon? It's a curious move, especially when you consider that in 2025, a majority of smartphones in the budget range come with multiple cameras. So is Apple onto something innovative, or are they making a mistake by not following the latest trend? The iPhone SE 4 marks a significant milestone as the first new mid-range iPhone in three years. Leaks and rumors about the device have already started to surface, giving us an idea of what we can expect. The iPhone SE 4 is expected to borrow design elements from the iPhone 14, featuring a 6.1-inch OLED display and a modern design with sleek edges. Along with that, the battery capacity will be around 3279 mAh, offering improved performance and efficiency. But despite these exciting upgrades, the one thing that's got everyone talking is the camera. Unlike most modern smartphones, the iPhone SE 4 is rumored to only include a single 48-megapixel rear camera, which is a huge upgrade from the previous 12-megapixel sensor. But here's the catch. With competitors offering dual and even triple camera setups in this price range, will this single-camera approach be enough to keep up? After all, camera quality has become a major factor in today's smartphone market. The truth is, Apple isn't focusing solely on the camera for the iPhone SE 4. Instead, they're doubling down on what really matters, performance. The iPhone SE 4 will come with a powerful A18 chipset, the same processor that will power the upcoming iPhone 16 series. This chip, combined with 8GB of RAM, will provide a smooth and fast user experience, ensuring that this phone can handle everything from basic tasks to intensive applications. And don't forget, Apple is also introducing its first in-house 5G modem, allowing users to experience fast internet speeds. Even with just one rear camera, Apple could be relying on its impressive AI capabilities to enhance the photography experience. We've already seen how Apple uses AI to improve image quality, and with the SE4, it's likely that the camera's software will make up for its hardware limitations. For everyday users who don't need professional-grade photography, the AI-powered enhancements will ensure that your photos look great, even with just one lens. The AI can enhance everything from color accuracy to low-light performance, making the single camera more capable than it might seem at first glance. So is the iPhone SE4 worth considering? If you're someone who uses your phone for everyday tasks like social media, video streaming, and light browsing, the SE4 could be the perfect fit. With its powerful performance, long battery life, and reliable software support from Apple, this phone is built to last. Plus, since Apple provides extended software updates, you won't be left behind in terms of features and security for several years. However, if you're someone who values having a great camera experience, the iPhone SE4 might not be your first choice. In this case, you could consider the iPhone 14, which offers a dual camera system and is available for around the same price as the SE4. If you're open to Android, there are also strong alternatives in this price range, such as the Google Pixel 9a and Samsung Galaxy A56, both offering competitive features like multiple cameras, AI enhancements, and long-lasting software support. Ultimately, the decision comes down to what you prioritize in a smartphone. Is it the raw power and performance that the iPhone SE 4 offers, or is the camera system more important to you? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more updates and detailed comparisons. Samsung is about to drop some exciting new smartphones in their A-Series lineup, with the Galaxy of 56, a 30 sticks, and a 20 sticks rumored to be just around the corner. As these devices near their official release, there's a lot of chatter about what Samsung has in store for us. So what makes these phones stand out, and why should we be paying attention? Let's take a closer look at the details that have everyone talking. First off, the most recent leaks and certifications have given us a sneak peek into what these devices might offer. The Galaxy A50 Sticks, A30 Sticks, and A20 Sticks have appeared on the TUV Rhineland certification list, a strong signal that they're nearing an official launch. The most notable feature of these models seems to be the charging speeds. The Galaxy A56 and A30 Sticks are expected to support charging speeds of 10 volts and 4.5 amperes, which equals a maximum power output of 45 watts. The Galaxy A26, on the other hand, is expected to support 9 volts and 2.77 amperes, giving it a maximum charging speed of 25 watts. This focus on faster charging shows Samsung's dedication, providing users with a more efficient and convenient experience, which is becoming more essential as we rely on our smartphones more than ever. When it comes to timing, Samsung has a solid track record of releasing its A-series devices around the same time each year. With the Galaxy A55 and A35 being released in March last year, it's likely that the Galaxy A50 Sticks and A30 Sticks will be revealed soon. 
Samsung's A-Series has always been popular because it offers premium features at a mid-range price, and the new devices are expected to continue that trend. The charging speeds are just one reason these new models have caught the eye of tech enthusiasts. In today's fast-paced world, quick charging is more than just a nice feature. It's practically a must-have. With a 45-watt charging on the Galaxy A50 sticks and A30 sticks, users will be able to quickly recharge their devices, ensuring that they can stay connected throughout the day without constantly worrying about battery life. Even the Galaxy A20 sticks with its 25-watt charging offers impressive speed, making it a solid option for budget-conscious buyers who still want fast charging capabilities. But charging speed isn't the only thing to be excited about. We can expect a range of other upgrades, including improved battery life, better camera features, and possibly a sleek new design. Samsung has always been great at balancing performance and affordability, and it looks like these new models will follow that same approach. Whether you're a budget-conscious buyer or someone looking for more premium features, the Galaxy A56, A36, and A26 seem to promise something for everyone. As for the timeline, if the certifications are any indication, we could see an official announcement in the next couple of months. The fact that these devices have appeared on certification lists suggests that Samsung is wrapping up the final stages of preparation and the launch may be closer than we think. Samsung has a long-standing reputation for delivering great value with its A-series smartphones and these upcoming Could Apple be preparing to change the game when it comes to budget smartphones? A leaked video has given us a sneak peek at what's rumored to be the next iPhone SE, possibly called the iPhone 16e. With some impressive upgrades and a fresh design, this might not just be another affordable option, but rather a device that could redefine expectations for budget-friendly smartphones in 2025. Let's take a closer look at what these leaks are revealing. The video shows a model that could either be a prototype or a dummy unit of the iPhone 16e, and the design changes are striking. On the front, it bears a resemblance to the iPhone 14, complete with the familiar notch. However, the back is where things get interesting. Instead of the dual camera setup found on the iPhone 14, this device has only one rear camera. While that might seem like a downgrade, it could be a strategic move to keep costs lower while still offering a sleek and modern look. But the real story is inside. The iPhone 16e is rumored to be packing 8 gigabytes of random access memory, a huge jump from its predecessors. This means faster performance, smoother multitasking, and better support for Apple's growing focus on artificial intelligence. With more AI features expected in this model, it's clear that Apple wants to bring powerful technology to a more affordable device, and the iPhone 16e could be a serious contender in a budget smartphone market. The leaked video also cleared up some earlier rumors about pixel-like casings. It turns out these casings might not belong to the iPhone SE at all, but could be related to another device, possibly the iPhone 17 Air. While this remains uncertain, it adds an element of excitement about what else Apple might be working on behind the scenes. One of the most significant changes that the iPhone 16e